Wow, this is uh, an exciting Dayton Hamvention 2019, guys. This is Eric, KJ4YZI. And I'm Steve, KI4KWR with Gigaparts. I'm, I'm beat this weekend, but I got one more video I want to make here. This is something I'm coming home with soon. Uh, I, I really, I like this, and I want to just touch on it for a minute because this is something that may pair with my 9700 really well. Uh, to be in a nutshell, Steve, tell me about this HF clock right here. This is more than a clock. This is more than a clock. What this actually does is it has many, many purposes. On the top here, we'll start in the top. It shows your solar flux. Oh, what's the other one here? Your x-ray and any uh, sunspots, but you can change it. If you just press the screen, they will change. Now, hold on a second. This is Wi-Fi enabled. Wi-Fi enabled. So this runs on the internet. Yes. It's got a built on a Pi? Raspberry Pi, yes. Okay, so this constantly changes based on your area where you set it up? Yes. Okay. So, would you say with the changing part, I'm gonna click on right down here in the bottom of South America. It's gonna show me location to point your beam. Wow. The current temperature in that location, so it's 46 degrees, light rain with 30, 30 mile per hour winds, so they're probably having a thunderstorm. So you don't need to ask anymore, how's the weather at your QTH? No. It's right there. You're it, already assuming you got it. Yes. <laughs> Okay. So when you're when you're setting it up, it's you're putting your location information here, which still has us back in Alabama, but not a big deal. Your time, current UTC time. Of course, still showing the temperature in South America. It's going to go back to solar flux here, but you can change that if you don't want to see it as a graph. You can also pull up your sunspot uh, number. See if the, see if the the sun will change colors again. So, so what I'm seeing is this is kind of like instead of going online to a solar index chart or something, it's here. It is here. It's right here. On, I mean, this is this is really what caught my attention. The really the reason I want it. Tell me about what I'm seeing right here, and that's a satellite that's going to pass over. Currently, it is showing the ISS satellite. So I can track satellites. I can track the space station. I could use this. Instead of going online and finding, I, I can just watch this based on satellite for my 9700 I got, yes. and follow a certain satellite when it's going to pass, when, what time, where it is currently. Yes. Wow. That, that's when, what I really interested in. It. And the good thing is, and I, I was noticing it before, and another satellite I pulled up for a another ham that came up. We were following a satellite that was near us, and it had a countdown clock here in the bottom. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. Because some apps, I think you have to calculate, you know, the UTC or whatever when it's going to come. This thing's real time. Yes, this, this is, is real, real time. time. <laughs> okay, so this is updatable. Yes. So you can, so with the Pi that's in there, you can run different updates and keep it up to date. It's not going to expire anytime soon with a Pi. No. There's stuff coming all the time with a Pi. When we when we turned it on Thursday to set the booth up, it actually asked if I wanted to do the update, which I ran the update in case somebody asked, you know, that same question. Right. And. I hit on the screen, you know, update. It updated it within, it was like a three to five minute update. Internet, of course, was a little crazy here on Thursday because we were setting everything up. Oh, yeah. But it was no issues. I, I think, I'm definitely picking one of these up. I think it's a cool thing for the shack. Um, you're the only people that have this, Gigapark? Yes, we are okay. the exclusive vendor of the HF clock. So, I think that's going to be cool on my desk. You know, it'll look, it'll, it, I think people that have a, a desk that's flashy, they want all kinds of stuff on it, looks really cool. I really, it hit home for me when I saw the satellite tracking and ISS tracking because if you have a 9700, you got to do satellites and that's what I want to do. So when I saw that and all the different satellites you could pick, I thought, yeah, definitely something that'll be neat. Tap on it, there's a satellite and uh, away I go. So uh, more on this when I get one in my hands. I think they're all sold out now, but uh, I'll have one uh, ordered and shipped. So Steve, thank you for your little bit of time here. You're welcome. This has been a busy, uh, busy thing for Gigaparts and everybody here. Yes, we have been very busy, and we're only on day two. We still have another close to 24 hours to go, everybody. I'm going soon because I gotta fly home tomorrow. But thank you very much for uh, the time here, and uh, more on the HF clock when I get one in the shack. Seven three from Dayton Hamvention KJ four YZI, and seven three guys from Steve KI four KWR at Gigaparts.